pay for being in, in this conversation and, and in this cultural battle, but uh, we, we don't really uh, dwell on that. Fighting for justice on National Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women Awareness Day. This afternoon, the Colorado Springs Indigenous Community and Hasea Advocate Program are bringing awareness to the thousands of missing and murdered indigenous relatives across the U.S. Carrie News Channel 13's Jasmine Arenas joins us live from Acacia Park, where groups are taking time to honor those gone missing. Yeah, we're here at Acacia Park, but advocates and supporters just walked down to City Hall right now to dance and sing, and they're wearing red, and also to read the proclamation on missing and murdered Indigenous Women's Day to help families who have been impacted by violence. Stand with our sisters. No more silence, sisters. No more stolen. Another year and another opportunity to fight for change. Every single Native person I know has been impacted by this crisis. When we come together in that way, we're supported. We, we know that we're seen. We're know, we know that we're heard and felt by each other. Um, and so that, if nothing else, and helps us organize the grassroots response, which has really been the only effective response here in Colorado. Activists are hoping this is the year House Bill 150 can become law. The bill creates a new state office to help coordinate missing persons investigations. But the governor has expressed opposition, leaving advocates feeling unsupported. We've had great sponsors in the Senate, and now it's in the House as far as the bill goes. But the governor has repeatedly threatened that he's going to veto this bill. And so we can't depend on the system that helped create this problem to be part of the solution. So we're having to do it essentially on our own. While numbers are often underreported, it's believed over 9,000 Indigenous women are currently missing or have been murdered over the last 10 years. Monica Snowbird, the director of the Hasea Advocate Program, which helps Native survivors of domestic violence, says they need change now. When you think about those numbers, it's, it's just overwhelming. You know, at what point will this end? At what point do we get to stop making new signs? Now, there are at least 53 missing and or murdered indigenous women in Colorado right now. The bill still needs to pass the House before it heads to the governor's desk and then signed into law. Reporting live from Acacia Park here in Colorado Springs, I'm Jasmine Arendis for KRDO News Channel 13. Jasmine, thank you.